Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake with Refine Horizons. And I've done a, I don't know, two or three videos about scopes of services. So scope of service, scope of services is uh, the document that a land sur surveyor should include in his contract that spells out exactly what he, he or she is or isn't going to do as part of a particular bundle of services being offered to a client. And so I, I want to, um, I'm going to do, um, I do a couple videos here on a new system we're setting up so that Bree, our administrative assistant, can help us set up scopes of services when we're doing preparing proposals or, or contracts. And so I wanted to just go over one part of that, which is um, what, what we call a, a task library for scope of services. So in a, in a scope of services document, part of the very important part of that, perhaps the most important part of the scope of services is the task that you're going to perform. And we don't, we don't want to write that from scratch every time we prepare a scope. There are rare occasions when you need a, a custom task for a scope based on the project needs, but for most of what we do, uh, we can prepare a scope from a standard set of tasks, right? So we keep those in a, in, in a library, in a document we call a, a scope of services task library, which you can see here, and then we group them into categories. So you can see we've got uh, survey control right here, topographic mapping, ground survey topographic mapping, boundary mapping, utility tasks, right-of-way mapping, land use planning, civil design support tasks, expert witness work, flood hazard management, monitoring wells, land development tasks. I think that's it. And then we have a, a standard list of understandings and exclusions there at the bottom, a master list. Okay, and you, you'll see there's some red text, and as we scroll through here, that's just things that you need to change when you add this to the scope for your particular project. So that's basically how the, the task library works. Okay, what I wanted to do in this video, besides just kind of give you an overview of that, is uh, we need to add a couple tasks. So I don't want to say we're always, but we're regularly... Um, tweaking and updating and adding to this task library and um, so it's it's a living document so uh, I want to add we're gonna add three I think I need three I need more than that I need five or six but we're gonna just add three tasks uh, I think I can do that in ten minutes so I want to show you how to do that so uh, one of the tasks that we need to add is for um, when we do a UAV When we fly a job site with the UAV, we don't always provide topographic mapping, so sometimes we just provide the ortho photo. So we have some clients um, that, that just like those UAV ortho photos, so even if they're going to get a, a traditional ground survey, they'll ask us to do that. So we're going to go ahead and add that. So I just copied the task here, and uh, we're going to just change the name. We're going to call it UAV ortho photo. Okay. And then. Um, we're going to come in here and just tweak this. So we're going to say Redefine Horizons will obtain, and I'm going to say uh, color, low altitude, high resolution, orthophotography. Okay, we're going to take out map mapping within the mapping limits. Okay. And we're going to say, uh, Redefine horizons will tile the orthophotography. Okay, so we always cut it up into tiles with clean edges. It looks better, it makes it easier for the client. Okay, and then um, right here we're going to have the deliverables. Okay, so what are we going to deliver? Okay, aerial topographic map. Okay, so we're going to change this. We're going to say UAV orthophotography, oh, orthophotos, I'm going to say orthophotos, will be delivered as geotiff files. Okay. Now mm -hmm. one other thing we're going to put in here that we usually do, so we're going to say refine horizons, will set 
and survey aerial targets, uh, allowing There's got to be a better way to say that. Redefine horizons will set and survey aerial targets. I'm going to just say needed to process survey grade UAV portal photos. Okay, so we're going to set the targets. It's something we don't normally do. Okay, so that's it. Now we've got a task for that, right? Okay, so we're going to do another one. Uh, this is for additional services on a boundary. Okay, so down here we have boundary. Okay, so we've got this resolve subject parcel boundaries task that we use, but uh, we've got a, a couple clients now that we work with that they want to <laughs> they want the least expensive price they can get up front. I, I don't I don't like to work that way. I like to give my clients an idea of what things are really going to cost, but we've got a couple clients that that say, hey, we just want you, we just want to pay you to go out and see what you find, you know, look for the property corners, and if you can't find enough on the first trip, then we'll give you an extra to go back. And so, and they keep their word. If I go out and I don't find enough on the first trip, they will pay me an extra. So we need a, a task for that extra work. So we're going to add that here. So I'm going to call this additional boundary serv additional services. So if you're a professional, like a land surveyor or an architect, you do additional services, you don't do change orders. Okay, change orders are for contractors. So I'm going to say additional services, boundary survey. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to say in here, we're going to say redefine high horizons will perform additional land records research, land records review, field surveys, and office calculations needed to fully resolve the subject parcel boundary. Okay. And then we're just going to add a little a, a note here. We're going to say if sufficient property corner monuments aren't found during the initial field survey, I'm going to put on here boundary field survey. Okay, then we're going to go, we're going to do additional research, review the records, do some field surveys and office calculations. Okay. So that's our new task. Okay, what are the deliverables there? This particular task isn't going to have a deliverable, okay, because the deliverable will be covered in one of these other tasks, right? So this is just for the additional work. So pretty short, sweet to the point. That's okay. All right. Um, sometimes I'll limit a task like that. Um, so let's put, we'll put that in red. So we'll just say, uh, Effort for this task is limited to one day of a two-man survey field crew and one day of a of an assistant plan surveyor. Okay. Um, and depending on the situation, we could change those numbers or just take that line out entirely. So that's why we'll put it in red. Okay, we got one more to do, and we're running out of time. So let's see if we can get this done. So this is going to go under land use planning. Okay, so we have a new thing that we started doing for some clients. So on some of these land development projects we're doing, uh, the agency, the city or the county, is requiring us to do help the client form what's called a community facilities district. So that's just a legal entity that basically collects assessments to maintain lighting or landscaping, things like that. Okay, so we need to uh, have a task that prepared, covers the preparation of those documents. Okay, so this is not a LAFCO description, which you use sometimes when you need to annex a, a property into a city. So this is different. This is, this, so LAFCO is not involved in this. It's a funding mechanism at the local government level. Okay, and it's going to be pretty simple, I think. So we're going to say redefine horizons will, I'm going to say prepare an 18 by 26, that's typically the size. Prepare 
prepare an exhibit for the formation of a community facilities district. I'm going to say for the formation or expansion. Sometimes you're expanding one. Okay, and then sometimes we'll put the sheet down in the deliverable. Sometimes we also have to do a land description for that, not always, but sometimes we'll say refine horizons. We'll prepare a written land description for the formation or expansion of a community facilities district. Okay. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do one more thing in here. We'll say all documents. Actually, you know what, we can put that in up deliverables. So down here we're going to say an exhibit and land description to support the formation or expansion community facilities district on 18 uh, let's see I'm gonna say on 18 by 26 inch sheets that meets the requirements of then we're gonna put XXXX that's gonna be the agency okay and I'm gonna split this up because the land description won't be on the 18 by 26 inch sheets. So we'll say a written land description. Oh, and we're delivering this as a PDF. Okay. So we're not giving people the drawings or the Word docs and nothing unless we know ahead of time. Okay, and then we're going to put this text in red. Because uh, sometimes we just need the exhibit. We don't always need the description. Okay. And there you go. That's it. All right. So I got one more on here. Let's see. I, can, I think it might be in here. I can't remember. Nope. It's not. Okay, so we need to add, I need to add a task for flood hazard man management. I'm going to do that even though it's going to make this video go long. Okay. So this is going to be to review a flood insurance study and flood map. So we are going to call this flood risk. based on FEMA data. Okay, so we're going to say redefine horizons will, so this is when we just, we're going in to look at a flood study or a flood map to determine what can be done to, to pull property out of a flood zone. So we're not doing a loan or an elevation certificate yet, we're just trying to figure out if that's even going to be possible. So redefine horizons will review a flood insurance rate study and firm to, I'm just going to say that, and we're going to say Refine Horizons will uh, provide outreach to the local floodplain administrator, then we're going to say Your horizon, horizons will use information from A and B above to determine the options for removing the subject parcels from the flood, special flood hazard area is actually what they're called. And I'm actually going to break that up a little, even a little bit more. So we're going to say uh, refund horizons will use information from A and B above to determine the options for removing. So we're going to say to determine 
if the subject parcel is in a special flood hazard area. So first we're going to de determine if it's even in the zone based on our review. So no field work here, we're just, it's a paper exercise. And then we're going to say if the subject parcel is in a special flood hazard area, redefine horizons will determine the options for removing and then we're going to say if any can always pull it out of the zone okay so what are the deliverables going to be so all documents obtained during our research a technical memo outlining the options for removing the subject parcel from a special flood hazard area. So what are they going to get? They're going to get a copy of everything we pull in our research, plus they're going to get a short technical memo that gives them their options, if any, for getting out of the zone. Okay, so that's something that we've started doing for clients, been asked to do for clients. Okay, all right, there you go. So, fleshing out our task library here, right? The idea is you don't have to rewrite this stuff every time, and you're getting some consistency across your different project managers or business development folks that are, that are preparing scopes. So, we'll do some more. I know I need to do a lot more uh, video. I need to do more videos on uh, project management and business development and contracts and scopes and stuff. So if this is one to add to that, one I can cross off that list of videos that needs to be done. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are not my direct competitor and you are interested in getting a copy of this, just hit me up, landon.blake at redefinehorizons.com. I'm happy to share it with you.